Bounty County, Florida is under a state of emergency and an evacuation order this morning as a toxic wastewater reservoir is on the brink of collapse. CNN's Bill Weir is live in Palmetto, Florida with more What's the Status, Bill? Well, the status is uh, people are very much on edge. They're a little calmer today than they were on Easter Sunday, worried that this basically this man-made castle of radioactive waste that holds back this huge pond, really a small lake of, of this polluted water, could give way. It's already leaking. It's already beyond repair. The worst case scenario is that a 20-foot wall of water comes down through an area that has about 300 homes or so. These are the folks that have been evacuated. But this is a, a ticking time bomb problem in Florida. You got to understand this state is the nation's leader when it comes to making uh, phosphorus fertilizer. And in order to make this stuff and dig it up and mine it, every ton of fertilizer creates about five tons of this lightly radioactive toxic waste, uh, phosphogypsum. And so they don't know what to do with this stuff. The EPA states have never figured out a good way to get rid of it. So they just pile it in giant stacks. They are the highest points in Florida, these sort of 500 foot man-made mountains of this uh, ph phosphorus gypsum. And at the top of all of these are these toxic pools there. And activists, environmentalists have been warning for years, this is the land of sinkholes. A big sinkhole opened up under a mosaic, that is the name of the company, uh, phosphorus stack, gyp stack, and leaked millions, hundreds of millions of gallons of this toxic water into the Florida aquifer where everybody in the state gets their drinking water. So the main concern right now is the sort of landlocked tsunami that might come if this thing breaks. Uh, but the only way to fix this problem is to get rid of all of that polluted water that is at the top of that gyp stack. And right now they are pumping it into Tampa Bay in order to release that pressure millions of gallons, tens of millions of gallons a day are being pumped into Tampa Bay, and that water is full of uh, sort of nutrient pollution, which turns out is a basically steroids for the red tides that have plagued Florida in recent years that kill uh, millions of fish and litter the beaches with, with fish kills right now. So it's a damned if you do situation, damned if you don't, but right now everybody is just keeping an eye on that gyp stack, hoping it doesn't fail so all that water doesn't come all at once.